Hi, I'm Tracy Lawrence. I'm video blogging for Grand Family Planning, and today's topic is one of my favorites, denial. In the world of family dynamics, there are two kinds of people, those who face problems and those who try to outrun them. Those who are brave enough to recognize the truth of a situation are often baffled by those who won't. I'd like to offer an explanation that might be helpful. Human beings are pretty complex critters. It's not that we're necessarily lazy or stupid. It's more like we're distracted and fearful. We're sold on the idea that we can multitask, but in truth, we can only focus on one thing at a time if we're going to be truly productive. We have complex relationships, beginning with the group from which we originally emerged, our family. Most of us love our parents and siblings, even when we don't exactly like them. As we mature and establish our own families, we set our own rules, habits, and systems to satisfy the needs of those we love. Often, we move away from our family of origin and maintain ties through electronic communications. While we're busy attending to what's right in front of us, kids, mortgage, jobs, groceries, age is having its way with our parents. The people who raised us are quietly slowing down. They may even be failing. But when you talk to them on the phone, everything seems fine. Mom even knows how to Skype so she can coo at the grandkids long distance. And then you see each other in person for a holiday or an event. Something seems off. Dad is moving differently. Mom doesn't seem as sharp. You hear the same story several times. You're asked the same question repeatedly. After the event, the adult kids compare notes. How did mom seem to you? Fine, why? Well, the Argyle sock story. How many times did she tell that one? This visit or total lifetime? You know what I mean. No, what do you mean? And there it is. You're both exposed to the same person and the same concerning behaviors. One of you is on alert, the other is dismissive. Who's right? Here's the thing. If you see something, you might need to do something. Denial allows you to take a wait and see approach. But then, the next time you see the subject of your concern, they may be appreciably worse. And you'll be kicking yourself because you saw it earlier when maybe you could have done something meaningful, but you did nothing instead. And now you have no choice. You have to act. Denial is no longer an option. So why deny? Because if you can convince yourself it doesn't exist, you don't have to do anything. You can tell yourself everything's okay and keep your eye on your own household. Mom and dad are fine. You aren't responsible for them. Or are you? Well, that depends. Are you talking moral or legal responsibility? Do you know what your parents want for the ends of their lives? Have you ever discussed it? Are they even receptive to it? Or do they push back? How involved are you willing to get? What about your siblings? And what do you have to lose by ignoring the issue? How about everything? Whether your parents have assets that you have any hope of inheriting, or possibly don't have enough to carry them through, then you'd better get ready to talk. If you're concerned that your parents might have an extended health crisis requiring your intervention, there are details you need to work out. If you've tried to have the talk and gotten the hand, don't give up. Circle back around and bring reinforcements. Having the talk while everyone is able is essential. Remember, you'll always be your parents' baby, no matter how accomplished you are so pushback is normal. But if you bring in another grown-up, you might get through the wall. Bringing in a respected outsider, someone who isn't family, can help to diffuse the family dynamic and move the conversation forward. This stuff isn't easy. 
Many adult children will try once and quickly give up, consoling themselves with, at least I tried. Well, that's only good enough if your parents live healthfully, forever, with deep canyons of cash. Otherwise, greater tenacity on your part will be required. And while it may be uncomfortable now, one day you'll be so glad you did. Or you can deny there's a problem until it's undeniable, and then you'll really have a problem. This is Tracy Lawrence for Grand Family Planning.